so in mvp and safety overalls there are some question asked on the topic called hydraulic chair so i have covered all the questions asked in our mmd for the hydraulic chair so please don't skip the video and watch it full so there are two parts of hydraulic chair the jack and the support but some places it is mentioned that the support is called as a spacer also so in next video i will tell you about working how we connect it and how we use to use hydraulic jack we have to remove all the caps and if these threads are dirty we will clean the threads and you we will use this spacer on all four nuts so this is a part of a hydraulic jack as i mentioned in the video now we will fix jack on this spacer Now connect the hydraulic hose to the hydraulic jack. After the hose is connected to the jack, now we will connect the hose to the pump. This is a hydraulic pump which is used to generate the pressure in this hydraulic pressure line for the loosening and tightening of the holes. So this is a relief valve. Before starting the pump, we will release all the excess pressure in the line. After fully tightening of the jack, we will lose it around half turn so that there is some clearance left between the nut and the jack. So once the connection is ready, we will close the relief valve of this pump and we will generate the pressure which is mentioned in our manual. This is the internal arrangement of the hydraulic pump. A small piston is used to generate the pressure in the pump. So once the pressure mentioned in our manual is reached, so we will stop pumping and we will lock the lever. as shown in the video and we will use a dummy bar from the spacer's window to loose the nut around 6 to 7 turns once we have finished this loosening of the nuts after this we will release the excess pressure in the line by using this relief valve and we will remove this hydraulic jack from the cylinder head hope you understood about how this hydraulic jack work next i have attached a video which will tell you about overhauling of this hydraulic jack so please don't skip the video this video is going to be very helpful in the mmd overalls i have covered all the topics related to the hydraulic jack in this single video so please watch in our mmd overalls for mep overalls there is one question asked overhauling of a hydraulic jack so in next video i will show you how the overhauling of hydraulic jack takes place this is a hydraulic jack to overall dismantle this hydraulic jack we need an allen key so by taking the help of this allen key and a hammer we will dismantle this hydraulic jack 
please don't skip the video and please watch it in full so to dismantle this jack we will use the compressed air to jacking up so that it will come out so now we have dismantled this hydraulic jack so we will do some checks for the marks and all on this jack and we will renew all the o-rings provided in this jack so one of my friend was giving this MEP oral so he got this question that how will you overall this hydraulic jack so he just told sir i will take an allen key and a hammer and dismantle it into two parts then i will check for any marks on this hydraulic jack and i will renew all the o-rings provided on this hydraulic jack so surveyor accepted this answer you can also answer So in our MMT oral for MEP and safety, there is one question asked, main safety is of hydraulic jack and pump. So for the safety of hydraulic jack, a o-ring with a safety hole is provided. As a safety, if the pressure exceeds the limit, the o-ring shears off and the hydraulic oil is released through the safety hole. So it is a safety to safeguard against any accident which can cause any injury to the person. And hydraulic pump has a safety called a relief valve to release the pressure of hydraulic line once the work is finished. So when the work is finished, we can use this relief valve to release the pressure which is maintained in the hydraulic line. So in next slide I have shown this, how this o-ring and the safety hole provide the safety against the injury of the person at the time when the pressure is increased. And I have also shown this relief valve how it works on the pump so this is a hydraulic jack and these are the parts of which the hydraulic jack consists of so for the safety purpose a o-ring and a safety hole has been provided so these are the o-rings so whenever there is any increase in the hydraulic oil pressure so these o-rings will shear off once these o-rings get shear off the oil will follow the path of these safety holes and it will leak out so it will save us from any injury happening due to this high pressure oil so this is a hydraulic pump which has a safety called a relief valve so this is provided to release the excess pressure in the line once our work is finished to release the excess pressure in the line so i have attached one video which will show you the working of this relief valve so you can see after using this relief valve the pressure will gradually decrease you can see this pressure gauge so this is how it works so friends these are the questions asked about hydraulic check in our mmd world so if this video was helpful please like and subscribe marine health portal